Right, uh, today no tablets. <coughs> the tablets did no good. So uh, we're going to give it a couple of days, uh, however long I can stand, clear, without the tablets, uh, and then we will be filling up the, uh, the sputum sample bottle and submitting that. And then we'll have to wait even longer to figure out just exactly what does that mean, where do we go from here. Anyway, we're, uh, we're late out, we're going to get out. Uh, it's a sunny day right now, so I've taken off a layer. Mm, big spaceship over there. Yeah, you don't often see them that big. It's uh, half past nine we're here now. And I still yet to decide. Are we driving or walking? I haven't decided yet. screwed up here. Yeah, we've screwed up here. I can't quite do that. Be too tight for the car behind. Uh, we'll be parking here then. Which is not so good. It's either that or reversal down the road. I didn't really want to do that. Ooh, how close are we to the wall? I've hit the wall here before now. Let's try not to do that. Possibly help it. Pretty close. Yeah, you don't know where to look, do you? Oh, you're still checking out the wall there. Yeah, there's a decent wall over there. You can check that out, mate. Yeah, it's just, just that little bit too small with the yellow line there. Just that little bit too small. Like. We'd have been blocking them in behind. Never mind. Close bear, close bear. Uh, it is, of course, status quo up the road here. Camper van city and trailer park. Stop! And be free. Token trawler shot, we'll get that out of the way straight off the bat. Token trawler shot there. That's one coming in. Bit of a breeze here. Clouding over a tree. It's looking quite threatening actually. Wait a minute, mate. Let me, let me try and digest some of this. I, I got a problem with some of this, and it's not just because I'm a dog owner. I just, you know, I just don't believe some of what they're saying here, or it's, it's just um, misleading. EPA class dog waste in the same category as chemical and oil spills. Well, yeah, I'm sure they do, but not one little dog poop. And what about wildlife poop? How did they class that? Well, it would be in exactly the same way. So that's just largely meaningless. That's just scaremongering. 
Uh, your dog waste is killing plants and wildlife. Hardly. I don't. Uh, I don't buy that. Because it's pretty natural. What about the wildlife? We are paying the price. Twenty-one million pounds per year, to be precise. The amount it costs our councils to remove dog waste and their after effects. Uh, well, that's quite possibly true because uh, there's loads of dog bins. If we left it on the floor, it wouldn't cost that, would it? Uh, so it's all a little bit. Uh, hang on a minute. You know, where's the truth in all of this? Contaminated water systems and our fresh water. Decomposition begins as the toxins leach into the soil, bag it and bin it, just leaving the bag also. Well, yeah, obviously you don't want to leave plastic lying around, but uh, it leaches into the soil. Well, what about the wildlife? It's no different to the wildlife. So, uh, and if, and quite frankly, if somebody needs to come here for a free dog bag, well, if they're walking a dog, they should be carrying their own anyway. So, I thought the whole thing well-intentioned nonsense is my judgment on that. I wonder what class the EPA puts uh, people's used tissues in. <laughs> I'm going to be writing on about that. Let's forget it. Let's forget it. It's just uh, silliness. I'm... It's all died back a bit, so I'm going to step in here and see if I can reach these this pair of socks that's been thrown in here. Just wait, Barrett. Just try not to get too squeaked up here. There's one we can reach easy. This one's more of a stretch. Uh, we have the sock. And the other sock. Right. Let's get out of here without tripping on the bramble trails. Right, we got the socks. Just wait, I shall be carrying a bag of socks. That's uh, a bit deja vu, isn't it? It's been there a while, I think it looks almost dry. Right, where's the bear? Wait for me. High tide about one, two o'clock, I think. So it's uh, slowly coming back in. It being ten o'clock right now. It's uh, funny, my irritation at uh, that, that dog pooping sign has made me wander around here picking up tiny bits of rubbish. You know, we got a bag full here. We got a bag full. Uh, why am I recording? I uh, just found a dog toy here. Uh, before I touch it, there it is. In there. Uh. Do you want to play with that? The seal is still there, we're taking a chance. Yeah, we have another dog toy. We have a vast collection, we do. Because we keep finding them like that. Uh, as I said, I'm, you know, I'm literally picking up sweet wrappers here. But, uh, oh, and a token bit of orange. Right up the top of the beach here, look. How's it get up here? Token bit of orange. 
we have blown up by the wind. So yeah, we're we're gently trawling the beach here, picking up rubbish. Just another day. not a huge amount here. We have a bag full. There's a, a lot of this natural <laughs> that's uh, all different types actually that looks like lime until you realize it's natural. A lot of seaweed, different colors, different textures. Uh -huh. We've got two out here now. I've uh, not bothered taking any notice of what the bear is up to. He's not showing any interest at the moment. Tiny little bits just wrapped up. Tiny little bits. Hard work when it's tiny little bits. Again, okay. 